It's starting to seem like we do these mini build showcases every week, but you know what? If manufacturers keep releasing cases, then we're just gonna keep releasing these videos. It's just too bad for Anthony since he has to build and dismantle each one of them. Ha! <laughs> so Be Quiet's been around for a few years now. They specialize in high-end products that focus on, well, <laughs> silence, which you could probably figure out from the name. I mean, it's literally. They call their company Be Quiet. They have a lineup of amazing CPU coolers and power supplies, but it wasn't until just last year that they released their very first case. So after taking some feedback about that from their end users, they've come out with their second case, the Silent Base 600. At a glance, it looks pretty similar to the Silent Base 800, just, you know, 200 less. It still fits ATX and smaller motherboards, but the whole chassis is now a mid-tower instead of the previous full tower. At the front, you'll see the same kind of sexy black and orange color scheme going along, running along those filtered air intakes. The power button is still on the top, but the front I.O. and USB ports have been moved to the top corner, a funny compromise that manufacturers seem to be doing all over the place right now. The front door swings open to reveal your five and a quarter inch bays and a built-in three-speed fan controller. You can also get a peek at some of the foam padding that they use for dampening sound. This is also where the fan filter for the front comes out. The lower half doesn't open though, so in order to access the fan mounts, you'll actually need to pop off the entire front panel. On the right hand side, you get the usual foam padded side panel with the optional vent and fan mount. We're not sure why anyone would ever need the vent on the back, but hey, I can at least appreciate the symmetry. On the left side, you have an option of either a windowed side panel or the same solid padded panel with the vent. We went with the solid one since we were going for more of a silent build overall. The long feet from the bigger 800 are gone, but the replacements on the 600 are not bad. They're large, solid, and padded with rubber, so they do their job pretty well. On the inside, we start to see more differences. You know, you gotta make some compromises when you change the uh, size, if you know what I mean. The largest board you can go with here is ATX, so no EATX or XL ATX to be seen. Looking around, we get the same high quality rubber grommets that stay in place very well even when you're running cables through them, and a movable hard drive cage in the front with room for three drives. You can mount it on the bottom of the case, attach it under the five and a quarter inch bays, or just rip the whole thing out if you want to fill your computer with, I don't know, 4870X2s or something. We were, however, disappointed that the optical drive bays are riveted in and not removable. So even though the front can hold two fans, there's only room for a single 120 or 140 millimeter radiator rather than a dual sized rad. The rear exhaust will fit another 120 millimeter fan while the top has room for up to a dual 240 millimeter radiator. It's good to see that Be Quiet still includes two high quality Pure Wings fans, by the way, which you would be paying about $25 for if you bought them on their own. For this build, obviously aiming for silent. How many times can I say that before it makes you all Go mad from the silence. So Anthony went with an MSI Z170A Gaming M7 motherboard, an Intel Skylake Core i7-6700K processor, a Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 CPU cooler, 16 gigs of Corsair DDR4 memory, two MSI GTX 970s and SLI, an Intel 750 series NVMe SSD, and a Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 11 850 watt power supply. The CPU cooler was an obvious choice. It can dissipate up to a whopping rated 250 watts while staying completely silent. Plus, it looks way more badass than an all-in-one liquid cooler, depending on who you ask. It fills up that empty space quite nicely. The power supply was an easy choice as well, since we're clearly matching things up for the case brand, right? So. <laughs> there you go. So we ran a quick temperature test on the system using Intel burn test and the CPU hovered around 64 degrees while the fans stayed nearly inaudible. Looking pretty good. We also ran the case through the fog test to get an idea of what the airflow patterns would look like in London. We were worried about the thin air intakes on the front and the kind of weird shutter design on the top, but actually ended up being pleasantly surprised. Since our case doesn't have a window, we had to run the test a bit differently though. So with just the solid panel on, we can see a nice steady stream of air coming out the top and rear of the case. 
Then we replaced the side panel with a piece of plexiglass and got a better look at the air channels inside. So air is drawn in through the front and bottom, pulled through the two video cards through the CPU cooler, and then out of the case. No dead zones. Very nice. Finally, we did a third test where we installed a fan on the side panel, or at least we wanted to. Ha! <laughs> Ran into a bit of a problem. Due to the height of the Dark Rock Pro 3, there isn't actually enough room inside for a fan. So if you plan to use a tall CPU cooler, then you'll have to live with either a passive air vent or a windowed side panel. We put a fan on the outside just for kicks, and it's not exactly surprising to see that it would be effective for people running more graphics cards. Yay! Surprises! Woo! That about wraps it up for this showcase. Slash, I guess, kind of a review of the Silent Base 600. It's nice to see some of the changes they've made, but there is still plenty of room for improvement. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment below about what you think of this case and whether you'd pay more for premium, you know, silence features or whether you're the kind of person who just would throw their computer in a cardboard box if they could find a way to do that without it being a fire hazard. Thanks again for watching. Click here for more videos. Click here to check out our team. If you know what I mean. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.